Okay, hi guys and girls. So today we're going to be talking about the aortic valve, the pulmonary valve, the pulmonary artery, and the pulmonary vein. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the heart. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the right atrium. Okay, if you remember the right atrium, that's basically where blood comes into the heart. All right, and then you had the tricuspid valve. And then after that, we had the right ventricle. And I'll label this in a minute. Then we had something called the septum. And then we're going to have our left ventricle. And then I'm going to have my mitral valve or bicuspid valve. So let's go ahead and label this. This is my right ventricle. Okay, and then this is my septum, right? My ventricular septum. I'm gonna color this in. If you remember, this is basically all muscle and my ventricular septum separates my, um, my right ventricle from my left. So I have my, my septum, okay? And then I am going to have my left ventricle. And then I am going to have my left atrium. And if you recall, if you recall, we said that we had valves. So this was my mitral valve or my bicuspid valve. Um, so there's my mitral valve. And this was my tricuspid valve. Okay, so I know that those kind of might be a little hard to see, but the main thing that we're interested in here is, is basically what's in this area in here. Now, in actuality, my left and right atrium are going to come together to form the atrial septum. But for the purpose of today, I'm just going to leave a space in there. So the first thing I'm going to have is I have another valve that comes in here. And we're going to call this the pulmonary valve. This is my pulmonary valve. All right, that's going to be my pulmonary valve. And then it's going to go into my pulmonary um, artery. All right, and then the pulmonary artery is going to go out to the lungs. Okay, and then over on this side, I am going to have another valve. I'm going to use a different color. Um, let me see, I haven't used pink yet. So I will use pink and I have another valve here and then I'm going to have an artery here. Okay. So this valve is called my aortic valve. And so my aortic valve is basically going to go between the left ventricle and the aorta. All right, so the aortic valve is going to be between the left ventricle and the aorta. The pulmonary valve is going to be between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. So 
So now, if we were to look from the top of the heart, our heart would look something like this. Let's say we cut it off. Let me, let me draw a description real fast. So I'm gonna say we're looking at the heart here. We're looking at the heart and we have this here. Okay, and as you know, this is the ventricular septum, this is the atrial septum, this is the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, the left ventricle. So imagine now we were dissecting this and we are going to cut basically right along here and remove that. And so what it would look like is something like this. Um, I'm gonna have my tricuspid valve in here. Okay, remember the tricuspid valve is going to be between the right atrium and the right ventricle. And then I would have my bicuspid valve. And just to be consistent, I'm gonna put little holes in here. Okay, so this is my bicuspid valve. So once again, this is tricuspid. This is bicuspid. Or remember, I'm using the terms interchangeably. It's also known as the mitral valve. Okay, but now, right in this area up in here, I would have the aortic valve. I'm gonna change the color again to be a little more consistent. And so here is my aortic valve, and it's actually in three parts. Okay, and then in front of this, I am going to have my pulmonary valve, which would basically be in front of this. Okay. And remember, the pulmonary valve is between the right ventricle and pulmonary artery. Okay. And the aortic valve is between the left ventricle and the aorta. And remember, aorta brings blood out to the body. The pulmonary artery, in fact, I'm gonna write that. The aorta brings blood to the body and the pulmonary artery brings blood to the lungs. Okay, and then I'm gonna finish this on part two of this, where we'll talk about the pulmonary artery and we will talk about the um, pulmonary vein.